Ever wondered what my world looked like from Y150? Well, this is uh, the area around my base. As you can see, there's not actually that much that's been built. It's just like this uh, this strip of land here. Everything else is just cast in darkness. Still, pretty cool to look at. So, welcome. Welcome one and all. Um, this episode, I was going to go out and search for clay because I've decided that I was going to use brick, as in bricks, to uh, build the library with, uh, or at least use that as one of the blocks. However, I decided, well, I, I was going to go out and look for clay and then I found that I had like, I don't know, seven stacks in a chest. <laughs> so it's like, oh, don't mind if I do. So we're just going to use this uh, as our main block. Do I have... Yeah, I just made a Fortune 3 spade. Fortune doesn't actually affect these, but, I mean, whatever. It's no harm using it. I feel like it should affect these, but, I don't know. Oh, we're at the build limit. 256. Well, there we go. Alright, so I've, I've upped the render distance a bit. And, as you can see... Actually, well, you can't really, but see that light over there? That is the, um... That's the entrance to the zombie f uh, spawner. The zombie farm, XP farm. There's our woodland village down there, or hamlet, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you can see the gates to Moria over there, which is pretty cool. And also you can see the city, or part of the city, and the mountains next to it. So it's a really cool area. Really, really liking it. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show this off. It's not too bad. Um, at the minute, as I said, I'm just gathering together some clay so we can smelt it into bricks. Get the necessary blocks for building the library, which we can see from here. Or, well, we can see the foundations anyway. So I finally got all the bricks smelted up, and I'm currently just laying out a bit of a design for the walls. Uh, as you can see, it's... I, I, I like the, the combo of blocks so far. I'm just trying to figure out if this is like the exact style I want to go with. Uh, I like the stairs at the bottom of a pillar of stone brick outlining the actual brick blocks in the middle. Unfortunately, we probably don't have enough brick to finish this build, so I'm going to have to go and do a bit of uh, brick grinding or clay grinding or whatever. Um, but I think I think it looks good. Uh, went for a, a bit of a granite and um, light redstone light, redstone lamp look at the bottom. I like the uh, the smooth granite actually against the the brick here. I think it looks okay. Maybe it's slightly out of place. Um, but we're gonna... I might go with it. The reason I might go with it is just because I've always been one of these people that hasn't been afraid to go against um, you know, mainstream views I guess. Uh, well, to a varying degree that's true. Uh, I remember when I was at uh, primary school, which for those in North America is called elementary. Um, and I remember like in the younger years, oh no, this was later on, so this was when I was uh, slightly older, but you used to have to choose what you wanted for lunch. Like when you first went in, the teacher would do the register and you would have to... Uh, you know, choose what you wanted. And there was usually two options. One option was usually the popular option that, you know, everyone liked, everyone went for. Another was, like, sort of the healthy option that nobody liked, nobody went for. And every single time, like, I, I didn't usually have school lunches, but every time I had a school lunch, I always went for the unpopular option just because I, I thought it was funny seeing people's reactions and that. Um, whether you can classify that as going against mainstream views is debatable, but... Oh, hello. Um, but you know, it's uh, it's. I guess it just highlights my part of my character that doesn't matter what people say. I'll do what the heck I want, kind of thing. And my point, my point of saying that was, I reckon, I, I reckon, no matter how much people hate the 1.8 blocks, I will try to use them. Uh, it doesn't look amazing. I think used subtly like this will mean that they can be incorporated into the builds. Uh, in a better way than if, you know, I had them spammed everywhere, like, you know, over there. Uh, so I think we'll we'll go with that for now. Uh, we've still got a corner thing here. I might do brick in the corner. How does that look? That might work. It might. Also, the other question is how high do we want this to go? So, 
Currently we're three blocks off the ground. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nineteen, twenty. There we go. So is that good enough? I'm not sure. Alright, twenty blocks high. Could be as good as it gets. Maybe we should make it lower. Alright, so there's the basis of it. It doesn't it looks very flat, very plain, and to some extent quite boxy, which is obviously not what I was aiming at. And the thing is, a lot of these builds are quite detailed, and then you just come along and then there's this one, it looks very much out of place, doesn't it? That being said, it doesn't really need to match the other builds, particularly in a city setting, in my opinion anyway. Um, but maybe we could add some, like, some wooden or something, just to transition it a bit better. Alright, I think that looks a bit better. Um, hmm. For stars, I think the building's too tall. I think we're going to have to lower the height a bit. Um, I feel that would be a better option, so we'll go and do that. We should lower the destination of the stairs. That's probably a best, a good option if we're going to lower the height of this. I'm not sure how low we'll make it right enough, but we should definitely, uh, definitely take it down a notch. Okay, so I've taken it down a bit. It's now at about 88, I think. Oh, got to get these. Don't want to waste anything. Especially brick, because it's a pain to get. Um, what should we do here? Uh, you know what we should do? We should do some quartz, because everyone... Oh, some granite. Have I been saying quartz? I meant granite. We should do some granite, because uh, everyone likes a bit of that. It's funny, actually. Uh, in Scotland, Aberdeen is known as the, the granite city. And the granite that a lot of its buildings are made out of is not this colour. So, they mucked up badly there. Admittedly, I went on Google Images and searched up granite, and there was granite that was apparently this kind of reddish colour, but... Nah, not, not the granite that we're familiar with. Let's see, yeah, that looks... it looks okay. We should definitely do a window. Uh, let's see. Probably... Well, it's, this is based off of odd numbers, so we should probably do it there. Question is how how high up should the window go? How how far is it off the ground? It's three off the ground, and it looks like it's three from the top, so that should be fine. And oh, I was going to use I know what I was going to use I was going to use white white stained panes or whatever white glass panes. I can't speak. I need bone meal though. The question is, is there any? No, no, I, I like it. I like white stained glass. And I think, having seen it, like I, I like the height the windows are off the the ground. So we, we, we definitely are going to have to either lower the exit, the entrance, sorry, or um, keep the entrance at the same height, but then have it like go down or something. Oh, that's what we could do. We could have it go in at an upper level and then have a lower level down. Oh, yeah, that'd be sick. I know I'm just kind of saying random thoughts at the minute, but it'll look hopefully half decent once it's done. Um, maybe we should do something like this. I might try and get an arch going. Alright, how does that look? I like that. I do like that. Um, maybe we could make the, uh, what do you call it, the arch a bit more gradual, because it's quite rigid at the minute. Yeah, I like that a lot more. So, that's good. I tried something slightly different with the arch. Um, uh, do I like that more? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm being honest. <laughs> we'll just have to see. I might go and edit that part right now, actually. And then that will help me decide. But it's, e it's either this one or the other one. I don't like the, the rigid version that we had before with just stairs and no slabs. Okay, so I've got the frame of the building outlined there, as you can see. Um, I think it looks, it's looking okay so far. I, obviously, to make up the, oh, 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 okay, yeah, no, I, um, we're gonna have to change that. Yeah, because we've got two, five, wide areas, or semi wide areas, whatever, on this side uh, of this log, and then one on this side, so it's slightly off. Yeah, we're going to have to sort this out. 
Might as well do that right now. I tried to edit this a bit, and this is what I came up with. Uh, as you can see, it it looks okay. I think we've still got the. Uh, I originally had an oak wood log here um, pushed back a bit, and I think that looks pretty good. And then obviously we will have the the bricks here. This is only five wide, which means we'll have a three wide window. That that that'll be okay. I think. Uh, I think I can live with that. Um, so as you can see, I've got the frame working. Oh yeah, one thing I before I forget, <laughs> this is how close it is to the museum. You you literally cannot walk between them, but we can worry about that later. Mm. But yeah, just to point out how close the buildings are, um, I I'm just doing it for completion. Like you know, this bit for example is pretty pointless, but I'm just doing it for completion because why not? Um, but yeah, we've got the frame of the building done. It looks okay so far. Uh, we'll add the brick and the windows and the arches, and I'll do that off camera. Um, unfortunately, that's probably going to take longer than you might think because I've only got about, what's that, four and a half stacks of brick. Uh, therefore, I may have to collect some more. And as I've been saying, and as people probably know, it takes a long time to gather clay. So, yeah, I'll probably be gone for a few days. Um, that's IRL days. <laughs> that's the mission. The mission is to get this done before the end of the episode. And one thing I do want to mention is, as I was building these, I realised that these were all based off of odd numbers, you know, 7 wide, 5 wide, um, there's a 3 wide somewhere, yep, 3 wide, and I realised the door was 4 wide. So, yeah, the door is off, as you may or may not be able to tell. So we'll have to sort that out come the time to finish up the build. But I'll just leave it for now. We can we can sort that later. Right now, the main focus is just on getting the walls done and getting the arches done. And we'll see how it looks. And then we can make edits where necessary. So that didn't take as long as I expected. It was actually very, very quick gathering the clay. Uh, however, it was smelting it up that took a while. Also, I calculated it wrong and got like four stacks too many. But that's okay. We'll have some for next time. And we may still use some brick in the build. Uh, but this is what it looks like. Um, it does look kind of strange against all the other builds, but I, I think it looks okay personally. Uh, I'm fairly happy with how it looks. Obviously we've still got the roof to go. I'm not overly mm. sure what we're going to do. I mean, we could do a few things. We could try and incorporate it with the, the museum roof, but I'm not convinced that's going to be a good idea on the basis that the museum roof is entirely made of uh, stone bricks and the main block in this build, or one of the main blocks, is also stone bricks. So yeah, that's a problem. The roof of the museum kind of overlaps the library, as you can see, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, this is what we have got done so far. I'm, I'm really happy with it. Uh, and it's just on to the, the rest of it. We've got the interior to do, we've got the roof to do, and after that I will be somewhat satisfied but we'll, we'll see how that goes. This actually reminds me of a build, I'm not sure where, I'm not sure what build, maybe one off an SG map or something, I don't know. But I haven't copied this, like I promise you, I've I've looked at pictures for inspiration and I, I came up with this on the basis of what I saw but I've, I've not directly copied this from anything. Um, you can tell because obviously I've still got the door which is off so I'll have to fix that make it five wide or three wide instead of four. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really liking it. I'm just going to end this episode here. Um, I've done quite a bit today. Uh, next episode, I don't know what number this is, but next episode, I'll, we'll, we'll continue to work on this. We'll work on this for the next few episodes, try get it done, try get it, well, not done and dusted, but done to the point where there's a structure there that we can then add to later or take away if necessary. Um, but yeah, thank you all very, very much for watching. I will see you next time.